Queen Elizabeth II has a net worth of $500 million. That's why Triplux is taking a look at 16 expensive things she owns. HMY Britannia Construction on this ship began in 1952 and was launched on April 16, 1553. During her 43-year career, the ship traveled more than 1 million nautical miles around the globe. After she was decommissioned in 1997, she became a tourist attraction and has been seen in various cities around the United Kingdom. The ship was designed as a floating palace with all the trappings of luxury from the Queen's homes installed on board including silver cutlery, golden indoor handles, and large living areas. The boat had room for some of the Queen's, a car, and even its own servants living quarters with laundry facilities and even a private hospital. Art Collection The owner of the largest private collection of art in the world, the Queen currently owns around 1 million paintings, watercolors, drawings, and prints. Many artworks in the collection are owned solely by the Crown, however some are owned privately by Her Majesty. Some of the works in the collection include portraits by Rembrandt and Michelangelo and at least 600 drawings by Leonardo da Vinci. A number of other items, including furniture and ornaments, grace the royal collection, including one of the largest collections of French furniture ever assembled. Land? She is thought to be one of the biggest land owners on the planet, with her current portfolio showing around 6 million acres of land, or to put it into perspective, one-sixth of the world's non-ocean surface. She is currently the only person on Earth who owns whole countries and who owns countries that are not her own domestic territory. It's thought that if a total price could be put on the land, it would come in somewhere close to $33 trillion. Royal Fisheries The Queen owns all open water fisheries within the water boundaries of the United Kingdom that relate to the fishing of sturgeon, whales, porpoises, and dolphins with all the animals officially belonging to the Queen or the monarch at that time. The law hit the news in 2004 after fishermen caught and sold a sturgeon in Swansea Bay, and under current law, the receiver of the wreck is officially appointed to take possession of the animals when they arrive on English shores. Entire swan population. It's understood among popular culture that the Queen of England, or whoever sits on the throne at the time, owns all 5,300 breeding pairs of mute swans that are in mark and sit on open water. Swan uppers can be regularly seen on the Thames, tagging and checking the health of the birds, and it's known that rights to the ownership of swans can be passed from the crown to individuals seeking to purchase them. McDonald's drive through It's been revealed through released accounts that the Queen of England does indeed own a McDonald's drive through The acquisition of the McDonald's came through the purchasing of a retail park near Windsor Castle in 2008. The Both Road Retail Park in Slough is visible from the Queen's quarters in the castle, and it's thought that the Queen purchased the park for £92 million. Sandringham Estate It's been a personal home for four generations of the British royal family and is situated in the English county of Norfolk. The property is surrounded by 20,000 acres of lush green fields and forests while the main rooms of the home feature standing bay windows. The home also features an amazing entrance hall fabulous ballroom, and, believe it or not, gas lighting. The house was constructed by architect Cornish Henley in 1771. Balmoral Castle, purchased in 1852 for Queen Victoria and Prince Albert, the splendid castle is the private Scottish residence of Her Majesty and is said to be one of her favorite places to spend time outside the public eye. The castle was rebuilt in 1856 by William Smith after the original castle was deemed not suitable for modern day life. The royal flag of Scotland is flown when the Queen is not in the castle, while it is replaced by the royal standard when Her Majesty is in residence. The castle is set on 20,000 acres of the best farmland in Scotland and features some of the most incredible architecture in the United Kingdom. Buckingham Palace Featuring 830,000 square feet of floor space and 775 rooms, it is still considered to be the biggest private residence in the world today and is the official home of the British monarchy. The palace contains 19 state rooms, 188 staff bedrooms, 78 bathrooms, 52 royal guest rooms, and 92 offices with main rooms decorated with impressive paintings and unique artifacts. There is also a ballroom, state dining room, music room, famous throne room, and the queen's private apartments where she lives and works. One of the most famous parts of the palace is the East Wing balcony, where the royal family occasionally greets the outside crowds during both weddings and national events. 
Windsor Castle. The second official residence of the Queen, Windsor Castle sits on 13 acres of land and features a Georgian and Victorian design with the castle's interior featuring both English and French furniture. Fantastic artwork, paintings, and suits of armor line the hallways and the walls bear paintings and portraits of previous monarchs in order of reign. The castle suffered damage during a serious fire in 1992 and has been restored to its former glory by some of the best people in the business. Windsor Castle is located in the English county of Berkshire and is where the Queen spends her weekends. Holyrood House The third official residence for the Queen, Holyrood House is the prime location for state visits and ceremonies. The palace is open for community visits throughout the year except for when the royal family members are in the residence. The Great Gallery's largest room in the palace is decorated with portraits of the Scottish monarchs. Other prominent rooms include the royal dining, splendid throne, and glorious drawing rooms. The palace is spread over 10 acres, and some of its interiors feature glorious Italian paintings, while the exteriors appear magnificent with the marvelous lush greenery and superb architecture. Hillsborough Castle it's the main residence used by members of the royal family on their frequent visits to the Northern Island and was constructed by Lord Hillsborough and was completed by a Rev. Reddingham in 1797. The 18th century Georgian mansion is situated in the village of Hillsborough, County Down, Northern Ireland, and features a throne room, a function room, and restrooms. The gardens offer views of beautiful surroundings while the palace interiors are decorated with beautiful furniture and art masterpiece. Bentley State Limousine It's the official state limousine for Her Majesty and was a present for her gold and jubilee in 2002. The car is used during official events and is constantly guarded by both police vehicles and the Royal Protection Squad. It features a twin turbo charged 6.75 liter Voltaic engine capable of delivering 400 brake horsepower with a top speed of 130 miles per hour. Both the bodywork and glass on the car are bullet and bomb proof, while the rear seats are made from lamb's wool sateen cloth, offering enhanced comfort. The Queen's exclusive collectibles include a 1984 Jaguar Daimler 66 long wheelbase saloon, which was specially designed in 1984 for the Queen's drive around her Windsor estates. The car was custom fitted with a number of exclusive features at the time, including exceptional communication systems, flashing lights, and a rear bench for the Queen's pet dogs. The royal car transported eminent personalities including the queen, princes, princesses, and prime ministers to various events across the kingdom and was auctioned for $77,000 in 2010. Range Rover It was the car that Queen Elizabeth was seen driving herself during the 2010 Royal Windsor Horse Show and features a custom-made corgi statue on the bonnet. It features a winter boat charge Voltaic engine, four-wheel drive, 8-speed transmission SUV and costs around $400,000. Jewelry Collection Crowning off our top 10 list for Her Majesty is one of the largest and possibly most expensive jewelry sets in the world. Containing the famous crown jewels, this collection includes her royal crown, the Girls of Great Britain Tiara, also known as Grand's Tiara, which is one of the most expensive assets of the Queen. The connection also includes the Collet Diamond Necklace with a unique drop-shaped diamond pendant of 22.48 carats, a South African necklace and matching bracelet, diamond earrings, over 200-year-old gemstones, a 23.6 carat uncut diamond from Tanzania, and a marvelous black color snuff box decorated with diamonds. Some important gifts given to the Queen include the Vladimir Diara worth close to a million pounds, the Prince Albert Sapphire brooch worth 4 million pounds, and the Cullinan jewels thought to be worth almost 50 million pounds. The jewels often go on display at Buckingham Palace for private events and are usually kept in a secure underground, but public part of the Tower of London. That's it for today. Hope you liked the video. Before going, make sure to like and subscribe so that you never miss another video.